Okay, welcome to episode three. And um, as I flashed up, there was the uh, the reference photo was by Pre-Illumination Seth, and uh, I got it either from Pixels or Unsplash. I'm not sure which. And uh, right away, I'm launching into green in the hair. That's fantastic, isn't it? We'll have we'll have green in his hair. And uh, green and um, that looks like a thalo, thalo blue, a uh, extra dark, and um, there'll be a bit of turquoise that'll that'll go in there because I'm I'm in the in my turquoise space, and uh, decided that I I just I've fallen in love with there we go, <laughs> I've fallen in love with turquoise, and uh, the shades are just fantastic. I think because there's uh, grey in them, and um, there's there's a lot of grey in life, and, and colour, and um, it just feels right at the moment. It's a fantastic um, pan pastel, and the video, of course, is all about um, painting with light. And as I'm putting on that that turquoise tint um, that was my my light so I'm not using white um, but I'm trying to find the lights and um, pastel is such an incredible uh, medium for finding light and how it's bouncing off of skin um, you can get a lot of subtlety I'm looking at her neck um, and her jaw, I'm going to fix her jaw. That was a tricky jaw to do. Um, her chin sort of looks like it's really jutting out, but she she had her head on an angle, and I just was just a little getting a bit lost there. But I'm looking at her her neck and um, the green undertones, turquoise on top, the ochres, they all worked really well for me to uh, capture the light. And I th I, uh, this particular painting became very much to me on my journey, my art journey as as um, teaching myself. Um, learning from learning from doing. Oh, that wee bit there, that was just great. Once I got that little line of um, orange tint around his eye, suddenly that. The painting was was where I needed it to be. Um, but it, as I was saying, as um, as I'm on this journey of um, learning to paint, in this particular painting, it was very much about where is the light landing, and just by concentrating on that. In the past, and, and if you look through some of the videos I've I've done on the journey, and you go, oh, you know, how do you get to where he is? I tried all sorts of different things like um, different underpaintings. We'll, we'll start off with a, a grey layer and then we'll put a green layer on and, and then <laughs> we'll build it up like that. And in this particular painting, um, I more sort of freestyled it. Uh, there we've got with a, just a light blue for highlights in here. I just freestyled it and went, where are my darks? Where are my lights? And um, I think that's that's paid off. I learned a lot from from this particular painting. And right now, I'm doing a little series of um, I'm going back over some some paintings I've done from one or two years ago. And um, just just finishing them I think they, uh, at the time they, it was as good as I could get and um, but to be able to go back and go what would I do differently and, and see how I'd use the colors and the lights um, in the past um, so I'm doing that live from the studio um, there'll probably be a playlist on that it's preparing for an exhibition uh, so if you want to see uh, how I touch up uh, older paintings 
Uh, his jacket is mainly done from um, turquoise, of course, and uh, both the the highlights are, um, are a turquoise uh, shade, and then there's some pure turquoise in there, and um, turquoise tint for his shirt, and the uh, some um, extra dark thalo. Let's just try to find the where she was positioned near him and and how the light would have been coming through the the pair of them as they were dancing because she's not crushed against him and uh, that's a fantastic shot of my big head i'm sorry about that um sometimes it's still a bit of a trick to to work out uh where to to position the camera which is on a tripod and um and not get it in the way of not you know so I don't knock it over as as I'm painting but and there we go with with a classic uh, turquoise uh, pencil I'm like oh yep let's let's get that in there um a little touch of of turquoise but there's not a lot of pencil work um as I'm pulling out the pencils this is fantastic for me to say there's not a lot of pencil work in this particular painting um, some around her earrings um, some indication around um, her hair uh, little bits of uh, highlights sometimes the um, it's a charcoal I'm using there sometimes the the pan pastels uh, just because the the way the applicators are uh, can be a little tricky to get the detail I'm getting better at at um, doing here the suggestion of here in fact that's really what I'm learning too that the light that you you drop in with the pastel that's going to give you the suggestions of of shadow and uh, where the light is falling and if I can work out uh, the direction of where the light's coming from that's going to be a real um, game changer for me going forward um, in my art this I'm just coming to the near the end of this this particular painting I'd been pretty happy with um, how this couple had turned out in the in the reference photo you'll see that they're, they're really quite dark the contrasts are very strong but in real life our, our eyes actually see into those shadows and so the the pan pastel was actually in essence more like um, what we would see with our faces and then I'm just fixing up her, her poor old chin there and putting in um, as I do tend to do um, with the pan pastels the background and just two little energetic squiggles oh look energetic hand movements there as well I must have been gesturing to the the audience as I stream this particular one and um, the the blue of course is is to contrast against the, the beautiful uh, oranges um, that were used to build up their skin orange and yolk uh, yoker good grief ochre so um, which is now called yellow oxide by um, the pan pastels so there's the finished painting uh, thank you so much for coming on this particular uh, journey with me I'm really <laughs> delighted with where I I ended up on on this journey and uh, learning about how to use lights in, in painting. So um, I hope that's inspiring for you too. Thanks so much.